Yo guys, what's going on? It's Ryuga here with another guide for you guys. As you guys are aware, the plague just came out and I am ready to give you guys a uh, in-depth kind of exclamation on how to play her. Um, I played her a lot on the PTV, so hopefully I can help you guys in understanding how her power works. So um, in short, I'm not going to read this to you. If you want to, you can pause and you can read her entire thing. <clears throat> what she does is, um, as you hold M2, she charges a vomit. When you vomit on survivors, they go into a timer. Um, the more they like run and interact with stuff their timer you know slowly increases and increases um and it also increases the more you vomit on them when it reaches full they become broken um when they are broken you can m1 them they go down instantly this is the injured state like uh basically think of no either and um they also can spread their infection to environmental objects as well as other survivors <clears throat> so for the survivors to get rid of this they need to go to these pools of devotion that are scattered throughout the map um, once a survivor cleanses themselves, other survivors cannot use that pool until that pool is cleansed, and that pool is cleansed by you when you activate your secondary power. If you choose to not uh, take any of the pools of devotion, um, they will automatically cleanse themselves if all of them are corrupt at the same time. So basically, the reason they do this is so you can't just say, hey, I'm not going to let them cleanse at all because I don't feel like using my secondary power. So once they're all corrupted, they will automatically cleanse themselves. So it's pretty much a waste if you don't use your secondary power. Your secondary power is similar to Bile Purge, except your vomit turns into Corrupt Purge. And you activate this by going into a or to a fountain. And what this does is it injures people, or it does one health state um, to reword it. So if you hit somebody that's injured, they'll go into the dying state. If you hit somebody that's healthy, they go into the injured state. This can hit multiple survivors at once. Um, it's kind of like Leatherface's chainsaw out of range, except it doesn't one-shot. Um, so I'm going to tell you what perks that I would suggest. I do not have them because I got completely fucked with the perks when I was leveling her up. Because um, Dead by Daylight hates me. But what I suggest and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, Corrupt Intervention, which um, three generators located furthest from you are blocked by the entity for 80 seconds. At rank 3, I believe it's um, 120 seconds, so it's 2 minutes. Um, this is good for kind of like herding the survivors into one section of the map because they can't work on these. And then uh, the second perk I would suggest is Hex Ruin, which makes skill checks harder. It'll help slow the game down. Um, your third perk, I think you should run Monitor and Abuse to decrease your tear radius because it's good if you can get in closer to survivors without them noticing you. That way they can't gain as much distance on you. And then your fourth perk, I would suggest Barbecue and Chili just so you can... Um, after you unhook some or hook somebody, you can immediately go to the other chases. Um, so I'm going to read to you what perks I am using just so you uh, have the gist of like what's going on when I start the match. I'm using Pop Goes the Weasel, which uh, when I hook a survivor, um, the next generator I uh, kick is instantly aggressed by 25%. Um, this lasts for 30 seconds after I hook them. I'm running Shadowborn, which increases my field of view by 15 degrees. Um, Corrupt Intervention, I explained earlier. I only have rank 1. And then Hex Huntress's Lullaby for every person I hook. Um, skill checks become more difficult because um, the sound is misplaced and it causes them to miss skill checks. And it's a 4% regression penalty when they miss any of the skill checks. Um, the add ons that I suggest 100% Vile Purge effectiveness. What this does is it causes your Vile um, Purge, which is your green vomit, to break survivors faster and that's your goal you want to break them as fast as possible and then you want to m1 them so they go down um my second one i'm thinking of either doing this one which increases your movement speed while you're charging your vile purge so you don't slow down as much and it also decreases your vile purge cooldown or ink using the rubbing oil which increases your vile purge charge speed they both sound pretty good um but i'm gonna try the incense ointment in this one and then for offering i'm using a bloody party streamer because i want to be nice to the survivors all right i'm going to go ahead and hop into a game and i'm going to walk you through commentate how i play and uh how i think you should play her and hopefully we get a good match all right so i'll catch you guys in the match all right we got the new map i don't like the new map that much because it's very large so one thing i do know they changed from the ptb is you're slower when you're charging it and while you're like having it held so you don't want to walk around with it charged Compared to the PTB. Alright, we already see somebody. So what you want to do is you want to get up to them. And you want to get literally in them. 
like so. And then you want to hit them with as much vomit as you can. See? She's already broken. And then you want to M1 them. So you want to chase them like normal after that. And they already got my Huntress's Lullaby, which is whatever. It's kind of weird the scratch marks on this are hard to follow. Alright, do we have the basement down here? I don't think we do, but there should be a hook, yeah. And that's basically all you do. You gotta get in their butt, hit them with the plague, with the bio purge, and then you want to... Somebody followed us down here. Excuse me? I don't know why they did that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and be nice since they farmed her. I'm not gonna let them get... I think she has DS, maybe that's why they farmed. But we're gonna go ahead and hook her. I am really unsure why they did that. Wasn't very nice of them. Um, and then we're gonna wanna check a gen because we got Pop Goes the Weasel. I believe there's probably somebody working on this one. No. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, the sound seems a little bugged. They're right here. So we're gonna catch back up to her. And then we're gonna hit her with our purge. Um, I already damaged her, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit her. She might have D-Strike. She does. We're gonna see if she hits us with it. She does not have it. See how that sound, though? That means they're all cleansing. And it's really broken right now. I don't know why it's doing that. So the only time you wanna get your fountains is when you are close enough to them to where it doesn't alter your path that horribly. Okay, yeah, it's really bugged. So what her Corrupt Purge does, is you can see it instantly injures them. And it takes two hits to down them. And you don't have to charge the Corrupt Purge that long. As long as you hit them with the stream, you're good to go. And you can see it has a timer, because as you finish, it will... S oh, fuck, I just fell. <laughs> but as you, um... As time goes on, you will lose your power. We hit her. The best way is to kind of arc it, I think, is the best. I don't know if I'll hit her over this. We gotta keep following now. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, she's looping us around this. I think we are... Oh, we barely got her. Nice. But see how you can barely hold it? And it works. It's very nice. Sorry, um, I'm trying to give you a lot of commentary, but it's kind of hard to think when you have all that like going off in your ear. Uh, they really bugged the sound. So it's kind of weird right now. Um, and since we're right next to another fountain, we're going to want to grab the fountain and we're going to want to keep going. Um, just an FYI, you can corrupt people while they're on a hook. Or they're on the ground. So, like, if they go down, or they're on the hook, and you haven't corrupted them yet, like you down them with uh, Purge instead, or not Vile Purge, uh, Corrupt Purge, then uh, you can injure them. Or not injure them, but uh, give them corruption. While they're on the hook. Let's go ahead and follow her. But you see how you're slower? Yeah, they really change it from the PTB, so it's kind of hard. Let's see how we can do this. This girl is doing well. Good on her. Yeah. Um, I don't like how they changed it from the PTV, to be honest. I don't think you should have any reason to slow down. So we went ahead and hit her once. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and spit on her. We got her. But watch, see? You can spit on her and watch the bottom hood, and now she's corrupt. And that's kind of how you play her. And you just kind of keep it going. It's really annoying how it keeps doing that. So she just cleansed herself over here. 
So I'm gonna see if I can actually break her. I don't know why she's looping me around the hook. Now she's broken. And then you can pursue as normal. And then just M1 her. Should probably have to break this. This is a pretty safe pallet. And the other guys are all um, already, you know, corrupt, so there's no reason for us to... See how she passed us by this fountain? We're going to go ahead and take it. And then we can use that to down her. I don't exactly know where she went. Is she looping us around the shack? Yeah, she is. And bang! You can uh, arc it through windows and all that jazz. It's really fun. <clears throat> but I don't think a lot of people really know how to play against the plague right now. Um, this girl did really well. Okay. I guess we're lagging now. Perfect. Oh, she DC'd. Nice. Uh, it's unfortunate. And then we will keep pursuing. We have a girl right there. I don't know if I can actually reach that far, but we're going to try. Almost. Hit her once. I don't know if we're going to be able to hit her with the second. No. But we can still M1 her. Whoa. I just got stuck. <laughs> that's fine. It just cost me the down, but that's okay. We'll just catch her. We only have two people, so it's not really anything to worry about. Oh, she messed up, but I messed up too. But you see how she's not infected? You can barf on her on the ground, and now she is corrupted. I'm not really going to slug, because I don't feel the need to. Oh, well, now we know here where she is. She was over here. We're going to take this, because we're right next to it. You never want to go out of your way to get that stuff. You don't want to. Um, this is going to be really hard to find her. This map is huge. And she already got the hatch. So that's kind of a how-to, how you play her. Um, that match kind of sucks, so I think I'm going to give you one more. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you guys one more, because that one was kind of lame. We had a DC here, and we had a farmer, so I'm going to hop into one more so we can get a, a good game in. So I'll catch you in the next match. All right, guys, second game for you. I went ahead and switched out Lullaby for Devour Hope, because I feel like Lullaby... They are just going to look for it instantly. So I wanted to get a better... Wow, a map like this is amazing. Considering the fact that their gens are all going to be blocked. So they have to come to this side. That's really cool, actually. But um, I just wanted to get you guys a better game where maybe there's not a DC or a farm. You know, all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and check the totem, make sure nobody's on it. But I saw somebody to my right. Okay. We already found somebody, so let's go ahead and go for him. He ran this way. Uh, we're running into walls. Let's see how he runs this. He's a little laggy. Get our bloodlust up on him. And here's where we're going to charge. We're going to hit him with as much as possible. We're going to keep following him. We should break him here. Yeah, he's broken now. I think he turned around, but we have somebody else over here. Which is kind of what I want to go for. Now, it's better to hit them with, like, direct streams. Okay, he's broken now. And now we got him. The other guy cleansed himself. 
So now we have um, a corrupt pool. Now this guy saw my devour hope, which sucks, but you know, there's not much you can do about it. Mm. I'm playing really sloppy because I'm still getting used to the change they made to her speed. I don't know if I like it at all. It sucks. But they're probably on that gen because that's where he cleansed. But if we can find them more out in the open versus towards these walls. Somebody was here. I don't know where they went. I don't like the noise. All right. What are you on? Oh, he's right there. We're gonna follow this guy. Let's see if he loops us around. He's not going to. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna see if we can follow him through this or if he throws it down. We're gonna, we're gonna get closer behind him because we're gonna try and break him. Now he's broken. Force him this way. And then we keep following. Discordance would probably be really good on him. Or on this killer. Dang. I was thinking that I should go this way, but... A little mind game. And he has dead hard. Get him to throw down God Pallet. Nice. She just feels significantly weaker. There's a pallet here. Okay. They didn't cleanse my devour hope, so I guess the other guy didn't see it. Now we've got two founds on this side, and we've got a lot of um gens that have been worked on. I'm not gonna quite take it yet. I'm not going to take it until I'm ready. So I saw a guy running over there. But we're going to go ahead and take this corrupt pool because we're right, right next to it. And there's the ace. See if we can follow him. Oh, we got her and she's already injured. Oh, I thought she was injured. She was just coughing. Never mind. Oh, fuck. I didn't do it for her fast enough. Long enough. Now I can just charge it and I should be able to arc it all the way over to her. Yeah. Mm. And we kind of need to keep protecting this side because we do want to keep a 3 gen. It's a stronger this way. This will give us Devour Hope. Um, I don't want to drop this chase. Damn. It's fine. We're not going to use the thing now. See if we can get him to keep. Okay. We should be able to use this to break him now. Oh, we have three stacks. We might as well just hit him. I forgot about Devour Hope. My bad. Now let's go ahead and see if we can catch people before they get our totem. We do need to cleanse some fountains because we're running out of... I heard her right... Okay, well they already got it. That's unfortunate. Totems, am I right? Two seconds later. Alright, we're going to want to go ahead and grab Corrupt Purge, because we're over here. Ah! 
She'll be able to down her. Go ahead and put her in the basement. I probably should have turned around, but um, that's okay. Now we can keep using Pop Goes the Weasel to readily regress these gens. Keep the street gen as much as possible. We're over here, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take this fountain. And we're going to just want to patrol. So I believe they're on the other side of the map. Which only has one gen left. Okay, we got this guy who's lagging everywhere. He's gonna try and take us over here, which is okay. Oh, nice. Barely skinned him. Should be able to down him with this. Hook him on this side of the map and then go back. They're both going to be on that side of the map. So hopefully you kind of get the picture of what I'm going for. You only fill up on your fountains if you're near them. And if you're not near them, it's not worth it. Because it's too out of the way. Um, and then if you don't have fountains near you, you just want to use your regular file purge to injure them. Okay, we're going to see if we can find a gen to kick. on this one. They went this way. Scratch marks. Okay, she's already injured, so we're going to go and just follow her. We heard her. That's why we turned around. Uh, got another down. She could have decisive strike. I don't know if it's been a minute since I re-hooked her, but... Put her on the hook. It's a really fun killer. I just wish they didn't nerf her um, ability to move while it's charged. We have pretty good control on this side of the map. Um, since we're here, we might as well grab more power, I believe. Okay, well, they finished the last gen on that side, so now they have to come over here. We're going to kind of guard the middle. I think there's somebody over here now. Ooh. It's fun to snipe with this thing. Scary, man. That was our first hook, too. But we can go back and kick that gen because we have Popcos. Heavily regress it. I sh Okay, never mind. I forgot I was still in Corrupt. I was going to say I should have spit on her again, but then again, I forgot. Okay. Okay, now we're going to follow this guy, and because we don't have any fountains nearby... We're just going to break him with our normal spit. Now he's broken. And now we're just going to chase him and down him like a normal killer. Oh, he kept going. I was going to see if he would. I'd be able to mind game him. I knew he had dead hard, but he kind of just ran into a corner, so. There's somebody to my right, because they started this gen. Yeah, they ran this way. And we can kick this gen since we're here. I don't know where they went exactly. That's okay.
Um, you can also puke on objects. So I'm gonna puke on this gen. Oh, we see him. I don't really care about the, the three gen anymore because there's only two people. We're just gonna get close to hit him with the majority of our spit. Now he's broken. I made a mistake, and now he's down. <clears throat> and now we have a um, a pool over there, so we can go ahead and get our corruption. This guy's dead, so basically it's a fight for the hatch now. Now we just gotta look for her. I don't really care if she gets the hatch. I just kind of hope she doesn't get it in two seconds, so I at least have a small chance. Okay, so she was, I believe, on this gen. Over here. Hatches and Killer Shack. Hmm. She's probably hiding. Somewhere. I think I might just keep watch on this mountain right here. Hatch seems really loud. Hmm. I hate Hatch standoffs. I just wish, like, oh, there she is. And now she's broken. And now she's down. All right, cool. And uh, that was a lot better of a match. I wanted to make sure I got a good match for you guys. The first one wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. And uh, there you go. That's kind of how you play the plague. You want to get in their butts. You want to vomit on them as much as possible. Break them. And then I'm on them. And uh, then you want to take the fountains if you're near them. Um, the fountains will take a lot to get used to. There's not a good way for me to tell you how or how not to use her vomit and how to aim well. It's kind of like a Huntress saying, you know, you you play and learn. So um, I hope I was able to help you guys, um, like, kind of understand her power. And I hope this helps you guys become uh, better with her. I know she's still new, and I hope we uh, go against some great plagues. I hope you guys learn well from this. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I wish you best of luck in, uh, in your trials. Um, I'm going to reiterate again the perks that I think you guys should use. I think Monitor Abuse is good. And I think, um, uh, what is this called again? Corrupt Intervention is good. And Barbecue and Chili is good. And Hex Ruin is good. Now, you might be able to fit Discordant somewhere in there. But overall, I think those are the better perks for her. And then the better add-ons, I think, are the ones that increase her purge effectiveness and help her with her purge, like Spew. Getting out faster or getting her to move faster or recharge faster. I'll leave all this down in the description for you guys to read. Um, then again, I appreciate all you guys watching. Um, if you want more content, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz. I do have a giveaway going on. It'll be down in the description. You can, uh, you can read about that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I appreciate you guys watching. Catch you later.